Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. I want to welcome you guys to the content management systems course. Now in this course, we're going to basically teach you guys everything that you need to become a content editor. Okay. Now for those of you guys that don't know what a content editor is, is basically somebody who maintains a website, somebody who updates different pages and different content. It could be images, could be products, it could be articles, right? That's the job of a content editor. Now let's talk about why should you care about this? Well, it's the easiest way to get started as a developer. Okay. A lot of people who are trying to become developers usually are coming from different backgrounds. You know, there's guys who are Uber drivers, there's guys who were a chef, a guy who was, you know, working in a warehouse, a girl who was a secretary, a girl who was a graphic designer, a girl who was working as a marketing girl. I don't know. Right. I don't know your background, but most people don't have a background with working on the web. Okay. And that kind of stops you from getting opportunities because now you have to go in and prove to these companies that you can actually do the job as a developer. Now, being a content editor allows you to show that, Hey, you know what? I was working with this brand. I was working with these companies and they basically trusted me to maintain their website. And at the same time, I do have this other skills as developer, right? That can be very useful in, you know, working for those companies and also so I could do it for you guys. Right? So that's the idea behind it. Right? A lot of the developers that are self-taught, they start from here. Even I, myself, my first job was product editor, right? I worked for a wholesale company and my job was to update the titles, the pricing, update the HTML, CSS for like the landing pages for the products. Okay. And that was my job. That was my first job. And that's what got me into the door, right? And got me in the game as a developer. Okay. Now, again, just like I said, it's the easiest way to get started as a developer also too, because they're not expecting you to have, you know, 30,000 different skills. What they want from you is to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, maintain a website, right? Can you do that? Attention to detail, making sure that, you know, grammar is good and making sure that, you know, if they give you pricing, they give you a title, everything is supposed to look how they gave it to you, right? Attention to detail and knowledge of CMS, right? Knowledge of some type of CMS, right? It could be WordPress. It could be anything or some of the other ones that we're going to mention later on in this video. Okay. So who's hiring for this? This is probably the question of everybody, right? Uh, basically everyone. Okay. I could say every single person uh, out here is hiring for this or every single company is hiring out here for this. And you could look over here, like this is the Miami heat. They're hiring for web content editor. Sometimes you're going to see different titles, but they're all fall under the same umbrella of content editor, right? Uh, if you look over here, what exactly they're asking for perform regular maintenance, edits, updates, and multi websites, right? Heat.com, FTX arena.com, Miami heat store.com. Uh, what else? Including games, events, right? Uh, other duties, right? Assigned by the web manager slash developer, right? So you will have a developer that you work with, right? That might be building all of these things uh, by hand or is in charge of making sure that, you know, technically everything works, but you're basically helping them manage the content on that website. Okay. Uh, ideas of using Photoshop, Illustrator, right? To manipulate some graphics. Okay, keeping up with the new trends with web technology. This is the things that you're going to find in every position as a content editor. All right. So again, what companies they're hiring? You got Miami Heat. You also have uh, companies like this one, GitHub. Most of you guys know uh, who GitHub is, right? It's a company that is used by everybody. If you're a developer, you probably have a GitHub profile. You have a Git repo, right? It's up there. Okay. This is what they're looking for. They're hiring for the same position. All right. We have magic leap, which is another big company. We also have companies like blizzard entertainment that's hiring for this position. Okay. There's a lot of companies. And again, e-commerce web producer, right? You see this title, just like I told you guys, you might see web editor, right? Content editor, webmaster, web producer. So at the end of the day, this is all that, you know, that we're going to be talking about in this video 
And again, I want to show you guys like who's hiring for it and, and like what exactly can you expect out of this uh, career path in this course, okay? So again, what's the salary looking like? It's an entry level position. Now, of course, there's companies that pay way more than what I'm showing you right now, but that's with a lot of experience. Your initial job is going to be anywhere from 40K to 70K. Now, again, for most of you guys that are watching this, you guys are planning on becoming developers, right? A front end developer, back end developer, React developer, Angular developer, right? Uh, some type of UI engineer, right? So your career is going to continue to go up. So don't get scared about these numbers because you might think, well, uh, I thought being a developer, I was going to get 120,000 starting. It's not true. People that tell you that they're lying to you. You got to start somewhere. The hardest thing that you can do is to get into the industry. Once you get into the industry, now it's all about what skills you have and what experiences you have. And this right here is a great job to get started while you're still learning other skills. Because just like I told you guys, all you need is just HTML, CSS, and the basics of JavaScript. And that's not even a guarantee that you are going to be using JavaScript because most of these companies already have systems already set up. Most of the time, you're probably just going to be editing a couple of things, HTML, CSS. But again, it's an easy job that allows you to grow. Okay. Now, again, if we continue with this, what will you learn in this course? Well, we're going to focus on the most popular management systems, right? The content management systems that's out there. We're talking about WordPress, Shopify, HubSpot, CMS, Contentful, Squarespace, Wix. Okay. So technically, this course is not like a programming course. You're not going to be programming anything. This course, you're just going to get like a crash course on every single uh, platform, right? Think of it like that, right? Imagine each course that we have here, each uh, platform that we have right here might be 10 to 20 minutes, right? The goal is to get you started as soon as possible, right? So probably this course is not going to be longer than maybe three to four hours. But what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to navigate throughout the CMSs. And then from there, learn how to post content, how to edit content. Right. And we're also going to be teaching you guys, you know, what to expect as a content editor, right? What's expected of you, right? Uh, what exactly is it that you're going to be doing on your day to day, right? We're also going to be talking about things that's going to help you out to get the job, right? How you can go in and create a portfolio that can help you out to get this job in this position. Again, now, for those of you guys that are members of codingphase.com, you have access to all of the prerequisites and even the extra courses that might help you out, you know, land the job. So if we look over here, we got text editor, HTML, CSS, Terminal for developers, practical JavaScript, noting NPM basics, right? All of this stuff right here is basic things that every web developer needs, right? But you can still reuse this as you continue to grow on your career. So it's not like, oh, I'm learning these things right now, or I'm taking this course to become a content editor and I can grow from here. If you look over here, these are the exact same courses that you will have to take in the beginning as a front end developer. Okay. So if you look right here is the exact same courses. Okay. So in reality, what we're trying to do with this course is to allow you and, and help you get into the game, you know, within a month. Okay. Within a month, a month and a half, and you could find a job and you can start applying to these different positions. Because let's be honest, if you want to become a front end developer, this right here to learn all of these courses, it might take you three, four months, five months, up to six months to learn every single thing. If you're starting from scratch, if you don't know anything, you're going to have to start from scratch and learn all of the skills. This might take you anywhere from three months to six months. So at the end of the day, are you going to stay home broke without a job, right? Without building experience? No, you can actually go in and start learning right on the job, right? Go in into a company like this, Miami heat, you're working with the Miami Heat, you could go to, uh, what was the website? Heat.com, right? Let's say you're working at Heat.com and your job is to maintain this website, okay? Maintain 
what shows up here what banner shows up here maintain what's going on in the team's roster maintain what's going on on the premium dining right now you're learning what's happening behind the scenes of a company and also too you're going to be working with other developers and also to copywriters and the marketing team and you're also going to be working with the designers so it's a great way to build that experience where now when you apply as a front-end developer or back-end developer it doesn't say well hi guys my name is joseph and i was working as an uber driver which is there's nothing wrong with that but wouldn't it be better if you show up and you say hey man uh my name is joseph i was working for the miami heat like you get what i'm saying it's a brand it's something that you know it will go in on your resume and it makes you look good okay for your next position that you're trying to go okay think of this as a stepping stone so this is what we're going to be doing in this course and i hope that you guys enjoy it okay i don't want to waste no more time let's just get into it and let's get started all right guys see you guys in a second